Hello. This is the Cambridge Movers Practice Listening Test. Test 3. Part 1. Look at part 1. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look! There are a lot of people playing by the river. Do you know any of them? Yes. I can see my friend Mary. She's wearing a red t-shirt. Where is she? There. Look, she's climbing that tree. Be careful. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. That's Jill there. What's she doing? She's sitting on a rock. Oh, yes. I like her towel. Those are my favorite colors. 2. Who's that boy? Where? He's wearing a hat, and he's carrying some fish. That's Jim. Is that our lunch? Yes, it is. Three. I can see Peter. I can't. Look, he's got curly, blonde hair. What's he doing? He's taking a boat out of the water. Oh, yes. I can see him now. Four. Look at Sally. Where is she? She's standing in the water. Why is she shouting? The water's cold, I think. Five. Who's that boy by the river? Which one? He's wearing a yellow sweater, and he's washing his hands in the water. Oh, that's Fred. He's my best friend. Now listen to part one again. One. That's Jill there. What's she doing? She's sitting on a rock. Oh, yes. I like her towel. Those are my favorite colors. Two. Who's that boy? Where? He's wearing a hat, and he's carrying some fish. That's Jim. Is that our lunch? Yes, it is. Three. I can see Peter. I can't. Look, he's got curly, blonde hair. What's he doing? He's taking a boat out of the water. Oh, yes. I can see him now. Four. Look at Sally. Where is she? She's standing in the water. Why is she shouting? The water's cold, I think. Five. Who's that boy by the river? Which one? He's wearing a yellow sweater, and he's washing his hands in the water. Oh, that's Fred. He's my best friend. That is the end of part one. Part 2. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. I work here at the cafe. Can I ask you some questions? Yes. Thank you. Now, what's your name? Anne Tracy. Can you spell that, please? T-R-A-C-Y. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. 1. 
How old are you, Anne? I'm thirteen. Pardon? Did you say fourteen? No, I'm thirteen. Oh, right. Two. Now, do you come to this cafe every day? No, I don't. I come here at weekends. Only at weekends? Yes, that's right. Three. Another question, Anne. Which is your favourite kind of sandwich? Oh, I don't know. They're all good. Well, do you like our egg sandwiches, for example, or the chicken ones? Oh, they're okay, but cheese is my favourite. Thank you. Look, I'm writing cheese here. Four. Now, we want some new things to eat in the cafe. Can you think of something, Anne? That's difficult. Something you would like to eat? Something we don't have. I know. How about pasta? Did you say pasta? Yes, I love it. Five. Last question. Who did you come here with today? My cousin. Only your cousin? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Anne. Now listen to part two again. One. How old are you, Anne? I'm thirteen. Pardon? Did you say fourteen? No, I'm thirteen. Oh, right. Two. Now, do you come to this cafe every day? No, I don't. I come here at weekends. Only at weekends? Yes, that's right. Three. Another question, Anne. Which is your favourite kind of sandwich? Oh, I don't know. They're all good. Well, do you like our egg sandwiches, for example, or the chicken ones? Oh, they're okay, but cheese is my favourite. Thank you. Look, I'm writing cheese here. Four. Now, we want some new things to eat in the cafe. Can you think of something, Anne? Mm, that's difficult. Something you would like to eat? Something we don't have. I know. How about pasta? Did you say pasta? Yes, I love it. Five. Last question. Who did you come here with today? My cousin. Only your cousin? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Anne. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Tony do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Tony. We didn't see you at the park last week. Where were you? Oh. I had to help my mum and dad. What did you do? Well, on Monday, I went to the market. My mum wanted some fruit. Can you see the line from the word Monday? On Monday, Tony went to the market. Now you listen and draw lines. One. On Wednesday, I helped my dad on our farm. What did you do? First, we had to put some carrots and potatoes into bags. Did you enjoy it? 
Yes. Then we gave some food to the animals. Two. What about Thursday? Thursday. Oh, I went to the library. Did you find any good books? Yes. I got three because I read very quickly. And I chose some for my mum. Three. What did you do on Saturday? I wanted to help my dad on the farm again, but it rained all day. So, what did you do? I played with my brother. He's got a toy farm with lots of animals. Four. What about Sunday? I didn't go outside because it rained all day. Did you watch television? No. Mum and I read our library books. Mine was about animals. Five. Tuesday was a very good day. Oh, no, it was Friday. What did you do? I went to the zoo with my mum, dad and brother. Which was your favourite animal? I like the parrots best. We gave them some fruit. Now listen to part three again. One. On Wednesday, I helped my dad on our farm. What did you do? First, we had to put some carrots and potatoes into bags. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Then we gave some food to the animals. Two. What about Thursday? Thursday. Oh, I went to the library. Did you find any good books? Yes. I got three because I read very quickly. And I chose some for my mum. Three. What did you do on Saturday? I wanted to help my dad on the farm again, but it rained all day. So, what did you do? I played with my brother. He's got a toy farm with lots of animals. Four. What about Sunday? I didn't go outside because it rained all day. Did you watch television? No. Mum and I read our library books. Mine was about animals. Five. Tuesday was a very good day. Oh, no, it was Friday. What did you do? I went to the zoo with my mum, dad and brother. Which was your favourite animal? I like the parrots best. We gave them some fruit. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. How did John go to his grandparents' house? Hello, John. Did you go to see your grandparents last week? Yes, I went with my mum. Did you go there by bus? No, we went on the train because Dad needed the car. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. What did Jane watch on TV? Did you watch the film about dolphins last night, Jane? No. Did you? No. I saw something about jungles. Oh, did you? I watched a film about a famous clown. 2. What's the matter with Sue? Mum, do I have to get up? I don't feel well. Have you got a headache? No, but my ear hurts. Well, you haven't got a temperature, but don't go to school today. 3. What do they need to wash? 
Can you help me put the things on the table for the party? Okay. Where are the glasses? In the cupboard, next to the cups. What about the bowls for the ice cream? Oh, they're all dirty. We need to wash them. Four. Which boy is Ben's brother? Look at this photo of us in the mountains. Which one is you, Ben? That's me in the blue sweater. My brother's next to me. Is he wearing a black sweater? No, that's our friend. Look, my brother's got a blue sweater like mine, but he's wearing a hat. Five. What can't Sam find? Have you put all your holiday things in your bag, Sam? Well, I've got a comic to read, and I've got a good CD. And what about your toothbrush? Um, no, I haven't got it. I can't find it. Now listen to part four again. One, what did Jane watch on TV? Did you watch the film about dolphins last night, Jane? No. Did you? No. I saw something about jungles. Oh, did you? I watched a film about a famous clown. Two. What's the matter with Sue? Mum, do I have to get up? I don't feel well. Have you got a headache? No, but my ear hurts. Well, you haven't got a temperature, but don't go to school today. Three. What do they need to wash? Can you help me put the things on the table for the party? Okay. Where are the glasses? In the cupboard, next to the cups. What about the bowls for the ice cream? Oh, they're all dirty. We need to wash them. Four. Which boy is Ben's brother? Look at this photo of us in the mountains. Which one is you, Ben? That's me in the blue sweater. My brother's next to me. Is he wearing a black sweater? No, that's our friend. Look. My brother's got a blue sweater like mine, but he's wearing a hat. Five. What can't Sam find? Have you put all your holiday things in your bag, Sam? Well, I've got a comic to read, and I've got a good CD. And what about your toothbrush? Um, no, I haven't got it. I can't find it. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at this picture of pirates with some treasure. Oh yes. Can I color something? Yes. Can you see the stars? Yes. Shall I color one orange? Okay. Color the smallest star. Can you see the orange star? This is an example. Now you listen and color and draw. One. Can you find the pirate who's got no hair? No, I can't see him. Look. He's the tallest of them. Oh yes, he's got a bottle. Can I color it? Yes, color his bottle green. Two. Now find the man with a beard. Which one? I can see two. The one who isn't wearing any shoes. Okay. 
Can I color his trousers? Yes. Color his trousers blue. Three. Would you like to do some drawing? Yes, please. Well, draw a moon next to the stars. Oh, good. There. A beautiful moon next to the stars. Four. Shall I do some more coloring now? Yes. Can I color one of those plants? Okay. Color the biggest plant red. Did you say the biggest one? That's right. Five. And last, can you find the man with the mustache? Yes, he's carrying the smaller box of treasure. Well, color it yellow, please. Color the smaller box of treasure? That's right. Good. Now listen to part five again. One. Can you find the pirate who's got no hair? No, I can't see him. Look, he's the tallest of them. Oh, yes, he's got a bottle. Can I color it? Yes, color his bottle green. Two. Now find the man with a beard. Which one? I can see two. The one who isn't wearing any shoes. Okay. Can I color his trousers? Yes. Color his trousers blue. Three. Would you like to do some drawing? Yes, please. Well, draw a moon next to the stars. Oh, good. There. A beautiful moon next to the stars. Four. Shall I do some more coloring now? Yes. Can I color one of those plants? Okay. Color the biggest plant red. Did you say the biggest one? That's right. Five. And last, can you find the man with the mustache? Yes. He's carrying the smaller box of treasure. Well, color it yellow, please. Color the smaller box of treasure? That's right. Good. That is the end of the Movers Practice Listening Test 3.